Hello to my fellow gamers, it is I, Chef Baker, playing some Call of Duty 4 on the Xbox 360. This map is Crossfire. It was one of my least favorite maps back in the day, but compared to the new generation of maps on all the other Call of Duties, you know, this is actually a great map. It's, uh, it's really good for sniping because there's a one long lane keeping the streets clean. You know what I'm saying? It's like a superhero some shit so you got to keep these streets clean from the buildings from right across from each other and then on top of that um you gotta worry oh well, check this out like danced around his bullets like it was a western and then boom blew his ass up with the grenade but anyways yeah it's really nice because if you learn one building at a time you know like this building right here you learn all the sight lines of what you can control what you can't control i just really loved how uh, these angles really came into play and flanking really was super necessary. There's a lot of choke points in the flanks, like the far left and the far right. Really hard to get through those buildings, especially if the enemy's using shotguns. But if you couldn't manage to push through a building and get to the other end, you could fuck up a sniper's day and shit on their scope, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I was watching a video by Drifters, and obviously you probably know who he is. I mean, I'm a small 60 sub channel, so him having a couple of million probably know who he is but yeah drifter was talking about um the remastered version and what has changed what's the same and i totally forgot about these two things i'm about to tell you so if you're using a red dot sight on the ak-47 and like this noob in this gameplay that's, that's me so, yeah i didn't realize that the Red dot sight actually reduces the power on the AK-47. Totally forgot. I remember being told that. I thought it was a rumor back in the day. But yeah, back in my GB days, I, I remember, I think I remember someone telling me that. One of my teammates told me that the red dot sight actually screws the AK's power over. I had no idea. The reason I use the red dot sight on a lot of my guns is the only maneuver you can really do is strafing left and right and hip firing or drop shotting and a lot of people like the drop shot it's probably the most effective uh weapon or weapon it's the most effective uh what am i trying to say technique to use i guess against your opponents and i swear i'm not even joking i swear i invented the drop shot i i am the inventor of the drop shot never got no props from nobody but i invented that shit playing veteran on the campaign honestly call of duty 2 the big red campaign you know the old school call of duty those campaigns were super hard to play like way harder on veteran you know what i'm saying like black ops 3 has this realistic setting and it's like super super um difficult and that's what it felt like on call of duty 2 but anyways yeah i, I i'm joking i didn't really invent the drop shot it was kind of a community thing eventually people started to realize like they'd shoot and then they'd be getting shot at so they would just duck under cover and then they started like putting one to one together like man I'm dodging bullets by lowering my field of vision because if you use the red dot sight you can kind of hovers above the iron sight so you can start to see them duck and uh, with iron sights they kind of get out of your line of sight for a split second and in that split second they can take you out and throw your shot off and then all of a sudden you get screwed over and you lose an easy battle you could want because the, the old school Call of Duties, you new kids that aren't used to the boots on the ground, but the old school Call of Duties, you don't got bullshit exosuits flying around like a fucking turbo, man. You know what I'm saying? So the maneuvers you were limited to were the left and right straight and the drop shot. And I, I honestly prefer that. And the whole boots on the ground concept, like this map plays out so well because of it. Like if you had exosuits, this map would just be, it would be trash. I feel like the exosuits, they were they were a good idea and I'm glad that they went that route and they experimented with different uh, different uh, gameplay mechanics. You know what I mean? As developers, it was probably fun and refreshing. It's kind of like when the, uh, a musician, like you think of any band, eventually they start to sound more pop and they start to experiment with their sound, and that's just to get. Uh, have fun with what they're doing you know so i feel like the developers they got tired of these boots on the ground and wanted to switch things up and challenge themselves so you know it was good but i'm just honestly sick of it fucking turbo man bullshit anyways um so yeah i want to talk about the dlc 
um i really hope they don't sell us the other six maps if they did that i would be so fucking pissed i'm not even sure if i would buy the maps like the rest of the maps like to me they remastered the call of Duty before and that's all fine and dandy like that's that's an awesome thing for them to do you know but what they could have just did was you know make the servers on cod 4 on the 360 not hackable like that's all they really had to do is just update it the Call of Duty 4 on the 360 would still be just as good, but I guess people wanted the updated graphics, so that's a good thing, but, you know, if they sell us the maps that I already have on my 360, I'm gonna be pissed off, because that's just really fucking greasy tactics. I mean, they already made me buy, I didn't make me, but in order to get Call of Duty 4 remastered, you have to get the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare. And I was on the fence of even getting Infinite Warfare because, I, like I said before, I'm not really into the whole exosuits. Black Ops 3 kind of changed my mind, but yeah, so I'd be pissed off. But to me, I feel like the remastered version of Call of Duty 4, like this is the most beloved COD, uh, COD game in the whole series. If you're an OG player and you've been playing from the beginning, you know, you got, this is the game. But it, obviously, if you start halfway through the series, you know, if you started playing Call of Duty when Black Ops 1 came out, that's obviously going to be your favorite because you got the nostalgia, you know what I'm saying? So, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know how the fuck I didn't take that guy out. None of my, not even a bullet hit him and I was on point with my shots. I was just stupid. But anyways, yeah, so... I just feel like the remastered version of Call of Duty 4 should have just had all the maps including like the old school DLC and then my idea I mentioned it to a big name in this, the Call of Duty community his name is White Boy 7th Street you probably know him I, I suggested on Twitter that uh, he because he has such a big voice for this uh, big whole make COD great again movement I'm not sure if the what you call it, if it's actually like us making this movement happen or if the developers are just listening to the whole community as a whole you know what i'm saying but yeah i suggested to white boy 7th street hopefully he actually saw or read the tweet i also youtube uh, commented on his youtube channel but uh my idea was to have you know because it's modern warfare one remaster what started this whole call of duty phenomenon but yeah i was hoping that they would do a modern warfare map favorite DLC for Call of Duty 4 so imagine playing you know Modern Warfare 2 favorites like Rust with the COD 4 mechanics or, and updated graphics it'd be pretty incredible anyways I ran out of time for this commentary I hope I touched on all the subject I wanted to talk about kind of went all over the place just got off of work a couple hours ago and I get off at midnight so you know I was like not tired wanted to do something commentary for my boys anyways as you can see this countdown that's gonna be my next video some great sniping um, take care you guys hope you enjoyed and uh, leave a like comment whatever you want to do take care guys